Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. It's my pleasure to host you today. You're looking fantastic, as usual. I'll just shut up now, shall I? Yeah, okay. That's a good start, isn't it? Today, we are making Jager Bomb Jelly Shots slash Jello Shots, if you're in America. I've had four separate requests for uh, making this since I made the uh, Jager Bomb burger the other day. Some people have got in touch and said, like, uh, can you do this, uh, like, jelly shots? They're, like, supposed to be really cool. So uh, I'm going to give them a go. Had a little think about how I can make it. I was thinking of just doing, um, like, gelatine sheets or maybe even making a Jager Bomb trifle. But instead, one of the requests that came through actually sounded pretty darn good and easy and simple. These are all the ingredients you're going to need. I like this one because it was using orange jelly slash jello. Okay. So, just hit pause on the video now. And write them all down. And we're going to basically get cracking. It's really simple. You just need Jägermeister, vodka, there's water in there, can of Red Bull or energy drink. Other energy drinks are available. And some orange jelly okay, slash uh, jello. So I've got some shot glasses. That is what I'm going to make my jelly in. I've got a whole box full of shot glasses there, so I'm gonna make little mini ones. I might set fire to one at the end, I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes, but you can make it in massive molds. Anyway, we're just gonna get cracking, it's gonna be a super quick video, and uh, yeah. Okay then guys, first thing we're gonna do is get ourselves a nice low flame up in that top corner, see that? I'm gonna turn it down nice and low, because in our pan here, we're gonna heat it all together, and you wanna make sure you don't overcook the alcohol particularly, otherwise you'll just burn it all off, won't you? Yeah, think about that, yeah. Anyhow, my pan is there, I'm literally gonna plonk it straight on there, open my can of Red Bull, like so, and pour it in there, okay? So top it all up, the entire can in there. We're gonna bring it to a very, very low simmer, and then we're gonna chuck all the other ingredients in, and that'll be that. Okay, so our Red Bull's simmering away now. What I've done is grab my jelly and actually cut it up into smaller chunks. So just drop that in there, be quite careful with it, otherwise you'll get yourself all burnt. And that will start to dissolve pretty straight away. So keep it on a very low heat and just stir that through until it's all blended in. And then we just basically chuck in the alcohol. Yeah. Okay, so as you'll see, I need to put hardly any effort into this. It's kind of like little icebergs. You can just about see them in there. It's only been a minute and it's almost already dissolved. The jelly is turning really orange, obviously, because we're putting orange jelly in there. And the Red Bull is just joining it all together. It's like a fusion. It's all going on in there. It's partying. It's loving it. So just let it all stir through and dissolve. Right then guys, one thing to think about, you probably just see it's all dissolved in the corner. You might be able to see just a peak of the orange in the corner there. What you could do is actually divide the jelly mixture into two bits and actually do a Red Bull jelly and then a Jägermeister jelly and put one on top of the other. But obviously you need to do more setting times. You need to set one jelly first, pour the other on top if you know what I'm saying. But anyhow, this is ready. So we just need to pour in our Jägermeister like so. Let's just drop that in. Wow, that has actually gone all nice and brown in there. Our water and our vodka, which looks exactly the same as the water. So uh, yeah, all good. I was thinking actually with the trifle recipe, what you could do is surprise your grandma at Christmas time and be like, oh grandma, it's all right, I've made trifle this year. Give her a Jager bomb trifle and she might have a very Merry Christmas. Anyhow, let me just show you this actually. You can see it's kind of like got a real darky color there. We're gonna just stir this through, give it about a minute and then we literally take it off the heat, cool down gradually and then we're gonna pour it into our shot glasses to set baby. Cha-ching. All right, cool, so I've taken off the heat, it's just cooling down a little bit in the pan. Let it do that, it's very, very hot. If you're the kind of person who's a little bit insecure or is just really bad at holding hot stuff, don't go Ugh! like that, because if you get it over you, you're gonna sue me and I'm gonna get in trouble and we don't want that to happen. Just let it cool down a little bit before putting it into a measuring jug and then into your holder of choice. Yeah, baby. Okay then, chaps and chapesses, you will see I've put the mixture into a jug. That is because this is one of my favourite jugs. It's got a spout on it that I know, you know, I trust it. I've got another jug, which is a bit of a rogue one. I pour it and the, the mixture in there could go absolutely anywhere. And you don't want that to happen. Getting it all over your clothes, all over your feet. Um, just generally anywhere is not good. You want them in these shot glasses or your mould of choice. So, all I'm doing is pouring them in there like so. You might not better see that, but I'm just doing it a slow pour, making sure it's all there. And you'll probably see, actually, it does just look like an innocent orange jelly. So if you want to play a prank on a friend who is over the legal drinking age, why not give them a Jager bomb jelly, baby? So pour out all your jelly moulds and uh, we're going to refrigerate them any minute now. Yeah. Okay, so on the tray beneath me here, I have resting, actually, if you're interested, on my other arm and my shoulder, the jelly shots, like so. Um, it could be a very funny moment, actually, if I sneeze and they go everywhere, but I'm going to try and avoid that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, so these are going to go in the fridge for at least three to four hours. Ideally, you want to set them overnight. So if you're doing this for a party, I'd recommend you do them the night before, just to make all the flavours merge and combine. Cha-ching, baby. So uh, let's get them in the fridge, and I'll see you in a few hours. Yeah. 
Okay, so for me, that has been two hours and 45 minutes in the fridge, really rush job. And this is them all nice and set. Look, for example, look, you can give it a little shake. It's all wobbly, touch it, firm like jelly. It's still a little bit loose, but that's what you get when you make sort of liquidy jelly shots anyway. So we're just gonna go suck it out and see what it tastes like, how many we can get through. cha -ching. Okay, let's go for it and see how we get on. It's well too bright, so I'm not gonna bother lighting them, but remember, you can do that if you want, because the alcohol on there. Cha-ching, let's just uh, go for this. One. Oh, last one, that is strong. My mouth is kind of cold. Bottoms up guys, if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can, really, really easy. Remember, mix it up with different alcohol and flavors and let me know how you get on. I'll see you again next time. <sighs> yeah, you bomb jelly-tastic. I'm gonna lie down. High five!